You know, I really hope this new Nintendo Switch rumor is true, because if it is, we can play games like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario Odyssey, Shin Megami Tensei 5, and even future Nintendo Switch games like Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Day one by just popping the cartridge in. I mean, man, that would be great. Hey guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to the Robo Chancho, where we take the gaming news format that channels like Spawnwave or Arlo do, add a dash of animation and some cool editing on top to bring you your gaming news, leaks, and rumors in a fresh new way. If you're new here and want to be kept up on everything gaming, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoy the video and dislike if not, and have that notification bell on so you know when I upload. In this video, we are going to talk about the Nintendo Switch 2 and some new rumors that have popped up. This new Switch rumor talks about a huge future that people want on the Nintendo Switch true. If it comes true, this could make the Nintendo Switch an absolute must for a Nintendo Switch owner. The rumor also talks about Pokemon Directs, Partner Directs, and enhanced Nintendo Switch 1 games, which gets me really excited. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. It helps the video reach more viewers when you do. And if you want to follow me on Twitter and help me reach my goal of 2,000 followers, you can follow me at RubbleRob93. Without further delay, let's get to the video. So the Nintendo Switch rumors are coming at lightning speed with some more information about the Nintendo Switch 2 that could possibly be real. Remember guys, this could always end up being fake, always remember that about these things. So Central Leaks has the main bullet points from UniverseNintendo.com and this is what the first bullet point says, the Switch is going to have backwards compatibility with OG titles. Now this is something that Nate the Hate was speculating on when we covered it in the last video and here we're seeing it in the rumors as well. It could be possible that his speculation was based on info or some other inside knowledge that he's gained. Now as far as backwards compatibility goes, the real question is, is this the whole pop in the cartridge thing or is this some funky thing like the Nintendo Switch online service? Is Nintendo gonna be Nintendo this time? Which funny enough can go either way. Well it seems the next bullet point is great news or a great rumor I guess because the next bullet point says both physical and digital games which is really really exciting for me. I mean this is exactly what we want. On face value anyways, there is some questions I do have to ask. Like how far does this go? I know Xbox ran into some trouble with their backwards compatibility, so are some games not going to be part of the list that Nintendo is going to put together that are part of backwards compatibility between the Nintendo Switch 1 and Nintendo Switch 2? Or instead of that list, can we just put any old Nintendo Switch 1 cartridge in the Nintendo Switch 2 and play it that way? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now the next bullet point talks about Nintendo Switch 1 games getting an upgrade, which is really exciting. I would absolutely love this if it came true. Devs can enhance their Switch 1 games to take advantage of the added processing power. Now that's not the only rumor that popped up for the possible power of the Nintendo Switch 2. We do have some new rumors on what kind of chip is going to be in this console. This is what VGCArts.com has to say. The next console from Nintendo, a success, a success, a su Wow. Successor to the hugely popular Switch will reportedly feature a custom NVIDIA chip according to Reuters. The Switch includes the NVIDIA Tegra X1 chip, while one source stated that the Switch 2 will likely include a custom designed chip from NVIDIA. Nintendo's current Switch handheld console already includes NVIDIA's Tegra X1 chip, reads the report. A newer version of the Switch console expected this year is likely to include an NVIDIA custom design. And they go on to say that Nintendo has declined to comment on the report from Reuters, which of course they're going to decline. Nintendo's not going to come out and say say, oh yeah, we're using that chip, that would just give away the Switch 2 reveal if the rumors are true anyways. And by the way, Reuters is a website, not a person, it's Reuters.com, and their headline reads something pretty interesting, exclusive NVIDIA pursues 30 billion custom chip opportunity with new unit. Now, I don't know too much about the tech side of things, but if it is very similar to the current Nintendo Switch, maybe that helps backwards compatibility in some way, shape, or form. But anyway, switching back to the main rumor topic of this video, which is Nintendo Switch devs taking their original game and making get more pretty and run faster and have better frame rates and all that great stuff that we really, really do want on certain games. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my Nintendo Switch games, but some games do run pretty bad on the Nintendo Switch. Some fun games, in fact, that would otherwise be an amazing experience, like Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Man, I love the combat in that game, but there are a lot of frame rate problems in it. And when I have frame rate problems in my games, it ruins the experience. I mean, don't even get me started on Pokemon. I mean, there are some genuinely good games on the Nintendo Switch, it's just a shame that some of 
them run like dog doo doo. So if some of the older Nintendo Switch games can get some much needed love, that would be fantastic. Now, it would be up to the developers according to this post though, and that's the thing. We know that pretty much every company likes to do these remasters and remakes and stuff, and they don't do it for free. Not that often anyways. Some companies do do that. They did that with the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Some of the companies did make it a free upgrade, but a lot of times they like to make you pay 10 or 5 or sometimes 15, sometimes just a whole game just to have an upgrade on the past game. So if this rumor does come true, we'll see how that goes. The Switch Pro patch as I guess, or I guess Nintendo Switch 2, people are calling it the Switch 2 now, so the Switch 2 patch. And by the way guys, if you reach this part of the video, here is your daily dose of cookies. Leave those cookie emojis in the comment section below along with the game that you want to see at the next Nintendo Direct. Which funny enough, the next bullet point says this, Reader It's a Direct is coming next week and the hardware reveal is next month. So these were the recent rumors that we covered last time on the show. Something I'm super excited for personally because I just love Nintendo Directs, even if it's a partner showcase. I mean, we have had some fantastic partner showcases. Multiple insiders are saying this, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for this one. Now, interestingly enough, we do have some speculation on the Pokemon Presents in this post. Well, actually, it's not speculation because the post says this. Mentions that a Pokemon presentation is coming this month. So take that as a rumor. It's officially a rumor that the Pokemon Presents is happening this month. Now, this does make a lot of sense. We usually do get a Pokemon Presents around this time. The interesting thing about this is, are we going to see the next Pokemon? And if it is, is it going to be a mess like the last one? Now, the reaction to this Pokemon Direct is going to be pretty interesting because the Power World stuff has come and passed, and you can even see some of the posts still here and there. So that conversation around Pokemon and their quality of games is still going on, and it's going to go on until this Pokemon Direct. And if they reveal the next Pokemon game and it doesn't look too good, wow, that's going to be a huge crap storm. I mean, Twitter is going to be a blaze. It was already a blaze when Pal World came out and that whole debacle. It's going to be a whole nother thing when the next Pokemon game is revealed. Now, with that being said, there are some things that I want to see from the Nintendo Switch 2 when it comes to these kind of topics like backwards compatibility, the Switch 1 upgrades and all that great stuff. One, I don't want any funky Nintendo Switch online service stuff or any other things that Nintendo is just being Nintendo. You guys know what I mean. Nintendo likes to do a lot of weird stuff in weird ways like voice chat on the Nintendo Switch through an app. I mean, that was completely dumb. I don't want any of that. I just want to be able to pop the cartridge in and play my game. Second, and I know this probably isn't going to happen, let's be honest here, Nintendo is going to want to do those remasters and other companies are going to want to do these remasters and remakes and all that great stuff just to make more money. But if we can get some free updates on the past Nintendo Switch games and not have to pay any money, that would also be nice. I hope developers will look at certain games and say, hey, let's make this run and look better for free. Asking companies to do that, basically not to make more money, is just not going to happen though, so I highly doubt that. I guess we'll see. I mean, it did happen with the PS5 here and there, so you never know, you know? And two, when it comes to the Nintendo Direct, it's supposed to be a partner Direct. Now, is that necessarily a bad thing, I ask? To be honest, I don't think it is. I mean, third-party games, and even games that were made specifically for the Nintendo Switch that still had Nintendo characters and people liked, like the Rabbids games, were revealed at a partner Direct. Partner Directs don't necessarily mean that they're not going to have a lot of big reveals and honestly if I remember correctly even in some partner directs we did get some mainline Nintendo games as well so for people who just want a full-blown direct I don't think it's necessarily gonna mean that we're gonna just have some crappy Nintendo switch games thrown up from third-party developers in fact I would say partner directs in recent memory have been pretty good but yeah make sure you tell me your thoughts in the comment section below Do you like this information do you think it's true do you think it's fake in my opinion this does seem a little wish listy if you know what I mean so I guess we'll see what happens there. But with that being said, until next time guys, don't forget your cookie on the way out. And if not on your way out, make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, there is my Patreon and Twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those. Oh, and also have this donut if you're still sticking around for me rambling. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.